Yo, what's up guys, it's Fenton here. Welcome back to another video on GTA 5 Online, Drug Wars DLC. And I would like to apologize for taking a week off of uploading on my YouTube channel. The break was only supposed to be for like three or four days, but then unfortunately I ended up getting very ill, so I had to take a bit more time off, which ended up being about a week or day extra, being eight days, so. I also apologize for not even notifying that I was gonna be gone for a bit. Anyway, I am back to uploading videos and we're back on GTA Online because we in fact have been given a new drift feed vehicle, the Hot Ring Everon. So the Hot Ring Everon can be found on the Southern San Andreas website for 1.79 million and you can get it for a trade price of 1,342,500. Now, I, now do keep in mind, and this is probably what's going to frustrate a lot of people, this is yet another vehicle that Rockstar is only going to um, make available for only a week. And then after this event week, which is next week, they are then going to take, take it away and make it drift bed again. Just like they did with the Izzy Rally and the Panther. So, yeah, it's very disappointing what Rockstar is doing, especially with their decisions. But only time will tell. And... Once they remove this vehicle, who knows when it will come back when they do decide to re-release it. And now this is also the second Everon in game. So the Everon, the original Everon was pretty much a 4x4 ute, or as in America, they would say pickup truck, um, which is meant for off-roading. This one is meant for races, obviously, because it's a NASCAR. Let's go ahead and get straight into the customization cell, shall we? This thing does not this thing even though you can see the headlights they're actually these are actually fake headlights uh because when you go into the lights it only comes up with the neo the neon kits which i find very weird but and here's a but then here's the real question what was the point of adding these fake headlights on this if you can't change it that that was a that was a very weird decision by rockstar and actually now looking at the whole thing the grill, even the, the the front grill of it is fake. Like this is a weird car so far. Okay, so this thing is now customized. Um, however, what I just noticed is this thing has basically the same level of customization as the Hot Ring Saber. But anyway, let's go ahead and see how the exhaust is. It's on the side, by the way. That's kind of weird. Okay. Okay, so... As a race car, this thing should be pretty fast. By the way, I did forget to mention that this thing is now a... An, oh, crap. This thing is officially a, another option to use in the hot ring circuit, circuit races. So, before this thing, this vehicle came out, the only vehicle available was the hot ring Sabre. And everyone will be using the exact same car because it's the only vehicle you can use. Well, now if you want to use something different, you now have a second. You now have another option, but only one other option, that being the Hot Ring Everon. But 
So, I mean, I guess that's a plus to this thing, but honestly, I don't really... Just like the Hot Ring Saber, even though I own it myself, I don't really see a point in this thing. Like, it's... To me, it performs exactly like it. From what I can tell. The only difference is it does kind of drift around corners a bit. The handling's okay. Well, actually pretty good, but that's when I go slow. Just trying to force it. Oh, no, no. Okay, there were some bumps there, but that... That just tried to drift there. Now we'll go. We'll go to another turn. Uh, not that one. A little bit. That was the worst time you could have came up. All right. Let's see. Oh no. No, this thing just wants to drift when you force it. So okay. So do not force the corners with this thing because it. As soon as you try to for yeah. As soon as you try to force it, the. The, uh, the wheels, they, they lose their grip, like, immediately, and then the whole thing just starts drifting. So, if you're gonna go around a corner, I'd recommend just braking and taking it slow. Braking, and then try to control it. Don't just go hard in the corner, because this thing can't, um, hold its, this thing can't hold its grip for long, and then eventually, yeah, it'll just start drifting. That's, an, that's unfortunate. Okay, I have to cut the video because I did, I, I was originally pulled over in the scrapyard, but I didn't realize there was a gang attack there, and I, I accidentally started one, and then I started getting shot at, so I had to quickly move to a different location, and therefore we're at a petrol station, so, yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and open up the vehicle doors, and I think this, this, this thing might have the hood open on this one, let's just see, or... No. Wait, actual? Because I could have sworn this looks like it would open. Because you can see the outlines of the hood. Yeah, this should have opened. Oh, it's because of this thing at the front, is it? Is it these bolts at the front that are holding it down? That's unfortunate. Then again, these cars don't really have the rear and front ends open up like that. It's only usually the doors that open up. Um... I don't like the car- the- Oh, you got the carbon seats, those weird things. Those weird seats that are used in most race cars. And you got... Okay, okay, pretty well-designed interior, especially with the orange in that. That looks pretty cool. Um... Doors, obviously they have to be race-themed, because this is- All together, this is a race car. Yeah, you can't really go too much personal with this vehicle in terms of customization. I mean, there's no no split, no front splitter options, no interior options, no spoiler options, no bumper and skirt options. I already said that, did I? Yep. No hood, no, no anything. The only options you have are, of course, the neon kits, but that's common on most cars. And the lip, and then the liveries it has. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.